All right, what's up everybody? It's Chad here today at March Chevrolet, and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2018 Chevrolet Equinox. This one's a LT package, front wheel drive. Stay tuned over the next few minutes. Um, right at the beginning of the video here, I wanna just take it for a quick test drive, maybe through the parking lot, and just right down the road and back, see how it feels. But let me tell you, the 2018 model, this thing's definitely got the wow factor. When I pulled into the dealership yesterday and seen it, I was like, man, what is that over there? I was like, let me go check it out. So it looks good. I mean, the whole front end, the rear end, everything is definitely looking great. Chevrolet just really seems to be doing a great job on making their vehicles lately. I mean, yeah, they've been great vehicles for a long time, but just over the last year or two, they have just taken their vehicles to a whole nother level. And I just want to say thank you to whoever is making that happen. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and cruise around a little bit in the vehicle and just hear and listen to the engine and see how it feels. So we got a big, big, big water puddle up there. Let's move away from that. You know, the, the parking lot here at March at Chevy is a bit, you know, it's, it's gravel for the most part until you get towards the front of the building there. and. Uh, which is cool because you get to actually kind of feel the suspension a little bit more when you're cruising through this gravel parking lot. Now, one thing I'll point out, the cabin is quiet when you close the doors, so that was nice. I'm loving the new uh, display screen here, very nice. It's probably the most high definition screen I've ever seen in a vehicle. I mean, the clarity of it is beautiful. Everything, colors, everything is so nice. Anyways, let's drive it back here a little bit. Suspension does feel good though. I mean, I can feel a little bit of the bumps in the roads. I mean, the car is moving around a little bit. I mean, again, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a Tahoe or a Suburban or something like that. So it's not gonna be super big and super heavy with a long wheelbase. But, um, definitely feels nice. <clears throat> I'm about six foot one. I have a ton of headroom in here. Uh, with that panoramic glass sunroof up top, that just even gives you a little bit more headroom. So I would suggest if you're buying one, think get it with the glass roof. And as you can see, I mean, it literally stretches back all the way back there. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful glass sunroof. So that's nice. Let's give it a little gas right here through this parking lot. Man, acceleration feels good. Smooth. I mean, if you've ever driven an electric car before, it kind of had that feeling like that when I um, punched the gas. It was like an instant power. So that felt nice. Electric cars have their own kind of feel to them, so I'm not saying this is, <laughs> feels just like an electric car, but when I hit the gas just now, it just kind of had that whoop, you know, that, that maybe that CVT type transmission going on. I didn't feel the big shift of the gears and kind of put me back a little bit in the seat. All right, that's about all I can do right at this particular moment. But... All right, everybody, so you got to see me go through and drive it through the parking lot. How about that, driving Miss Daisy? But let's go ahead and take a look at the Equinox right here at the Marchant Chevy store. First off, front end's looking absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's good looking. I'm loving that color. I mean, it says summertime. It's a very nice looking color. Headlights look good, grill looks good. I mean, the whole front end on the Equinox is looking really nice, even down there. I mean, just every little piece and part of the car, Chevy is really just kind of jazzed it up. The uh, Michelin tires look nice. Can't go wrong with Michelins, like them. The wheels look good. I've always like a five star, and those look nice how they split off like that. And uh, the side body looks good. I'm gonna tell you folks, it looks good. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. I like the panoramic glass sunroof up top. Very nice with the, uh, look at the rear end here. Wow. I love how the sun just shines and gleams off the paint. So the front end's got a party, the rear end's got a party, and that key's definitely got a party going on. You got your remote start, you got your power tailgate feature. Another nice perk on this vehicle. I'm telling you right now, I do a lot of videos on a lot of different vehicles, and, uh, I was not a big fan of the Equinox before, but I'm really starting to become a fan of this this uh, CUV. It looks good. Let's take a look under here. So uh, no spare tire under there right now, is there? <laughs> I 
Do got your button right there as usual to drop that back on down. Also have your backup cameras and we'll show you that stuff in just a minute when I get on the inside because that's kind of where I'm making my way to. This is the 2018 Equinox Front Wheel Drive LT 1.5 Turbo. 32 highway, 26 city, average combined of 28. MSRP is 32,020. We sell all vehicles at Marchant Chevrolet for $98 over factory invoice, 31,009. Also no dealer admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. Yep, so every new car at Marchant Chevy is 98 over invoice. Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, first off, well, of course, you're going to get power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Oh, yeah, you got it. And uh, let's take a look at the seating. So uh, this particular one's got, it's got power seats and power lumbar, and it doesn't have leather. This one's got cloth interior. But I like that Chevrolet gives you power options on that driver's seat there still. Good-looking steering wheel. Again, fit and finish is very nice on this car leather wrapped on the steering wheel and look at that massive screen it looks like they just took a samsung tablet and slapped it right in the front of the dash so i like that big cup holders big center armrest there to write a check today for the car and then nice and roomy in the back i mean that looks comfortable i think i would enjoy sitting in there for an eight hour drive heading down and going out of town going down to florida or something right big sunroof up top and uh, let's take a look and sit in the seat here for just a minute and uh, it's comfortable. I know it's comfortable. I mean, I'm about six foot one, and uh, I got plenty of legroom. I like the start stop button, and I love how the uh, high definition displays just pop up. Colors are going to look really good on the interior, on the dash, and all your interior illumination. And I will make my way back over here during the evening time to get a night video of this car in the near future. So LCD screens look good. Let's take a minute to look at the uh, navigation and your display and your backup camera. I'm liking the guidelines there. That's nice. About all your cars nowadays come standard with a backup camera, but that one's looking really good. Just I think it helps out to have a nice screen inside the car. So Chevy's doing good with that. Def Leppard's rocking out on the radio right now. Can't let you hear it or we'll get a copyright issue on the video. But uh, got a lot of cool options in here. There's your compass. And uh, for your Bluetooth cell phone system, you know, you can get your text messages rolling into the car. There's just so many cool features that, the, uh, that your system in the car here does. And as you can see, all those little apps and things on there. Let's see what this does. That, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I'm thinking, I can't remember right now exactly what that feature is. But maybe that's to like, it's like something to do with Wi-Fi maybe. Something like that. I think that's what I'm trying to show you. Yeah. It shows that the car is hooked up on the Wi-Fi in the 4G LTE. That's nice. Uh, backup feature on the camera. I moved the car over a different parking spot to show you all that. See, I take the time to show you all how that little thing lights up. And it did make some beeping sounds too in there. Dual climate control. Two USB ports and an auxiliary and a 12 volt all right down in there. Got your electronic park brake. Yeah, I know. I like that, right? Electronic park brake. Real cool, right? And then another uh, a little light right there. And then two more USBs. I mean, you got a total of four USB ports in the front of this car. Pretty sweet, man. They're going to make sure everybody's getting to charge up their device. What else are we looking at here? Let's take a look up top. Um, let's see if it's LED lighting up there. And yes, it is. Those are LED lights. Longevity. That's definitely for sure. You'll get that with that. And then this massive, massive panoramic glass sunroof. And man, if that skies don't look nice with that Chevy logo back there. So uh, right now I'm just kind of testing out, see how far the screen goes back. Pretty much goes all the way back. Now, your, uh, your, your panoramic glass sunroof, I'm going to show you here in just a second where the button's right and show you how much room you got before, so you see how it opens up. Let's take a look here. So as you can notice here, it's not going to go back and open up all the way into the second row. It's going to stop right there. That just seems to be uh, how most of these things work on the uh, four size SUVs or these CUVs. But still, beautiful glass roof up top. Opens up. Got that nice little mesh, mesh liner right there to keep the uh, wind noise down a little bit when you're cruising at night. And you're, uh, you get your sunglass holders right there for those Maui gems or Ray-Bans or Oakleys. 
And uh, what am I doing? I guess I'm just hitting more buttons. Here we go. Let's figure out, Chad, how to close the sunroof. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So uh, right now, closing the sunroof. And I think I'm going to see if it has a tilt feature. Let's see if it's got a tilt. Uh, maybe Chad didn't test a tilt. It may not have a tilt. I'm not sure. But uh, lighting and both uh, rear view, or both uh, mirrors there, as you can see. So you got your lighting set up. Man, that's a big lens on that Canon camera. That's a uh, 10 to 22 millimeter wide angle. So I can get as much in the shot as I can get. And then I did before I got out the car. I looked at that. I thought that was kind of cool. You can basically adjust the uh, height of the rear rear hatchback there. As you can see, max three-fourths or just off in general. So that's kind of cool. If someone's a little bit shorter, they might want to not have it open up as high. I think that feature will probably be a little bit better suited on your Suburbans and Tahoes. The app was kind of neat. That little button there, uh, yeah, I guess it works as well with the uh, smart key in the, on the back door handles. And then the rear end, again, and the back seats look good. You do have rear air vents right back there, which is nice. So uh, Chevy definitely didn't, uh, they definitely didn't, leave that part out so i like that it has rear air vents i think that's so important when you have kids and friends riding in the car with you you're definitely going to want those right there and then you do have more usbs you got one more right there and then a 12 volt and then you got your 110 watt on the bottom that i'm just noticing right now i didn't notice it when i was filming but i'm noticing it right now that's so you can plug in something oh look at that oh crap handles when you're going around corners or in my case hanging up your dress shirts Nice solid vehicle, the 2018 Chevy Equinox. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, have a look under there real quickly. Now you may be wondering why aren't we listening to the audio from the microphone right now? Something happened and we lost the audio, so I'm doing a voiceover right now from uh, from my office. So the hood was pretty light, I do remember that that day, it wasn't very heavy. Good looking engine under here, the Ecotec. There's a huge intake tube coming in, going down into the bottom bumper for some clean air. Is that an intake tube over there on the right? I'm not sure. There's the intake on the left. But anyways, good looking engine bay. The battery's towards the back. You got your uh, that mat right there up under the engine. That is for protection. If you get in a car accident, it can kind of put out the flames and maybe also at the same time keep it keep it the sound detonator going on. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Come on down to Marchant Chevy. Test drive a new Equinox with us.